Yes. Takatoshi-san. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries. And not a single student attending. They need every able-bodied student at the factories. I know. We're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. That it's a hopeless war. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. What's wrong, Keitaro? You resent being drafted? No. Just, of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You don't have to worry anyway. One look at it, and you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but... We have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but... We're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because... We've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. Understood. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan... They chose me. 
What can I do? Will I be any help at all? So what is this new weapon? We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. So the Americans really are coming for us. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, we'll have to end this on the mainland. Our homeland's future is in the hands of this Sentinel. But they're good hands. A single Sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. No, it could outmatch an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day, we'll take the fight to American soil. <clears throat> huh? I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Tamao-san. So this is where you've been hiding. Takatoshi-san. Goodness, look at you. Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamao-san. What brings you here? I had to see Keitaro-san off. And when I heard you were back too, I had to come. I wanted to give you this. I made some ohagi for you. Maybe you and Takatoshi-san can share them. Well, I am partial to ohagi. The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, I invited her along. Pardon me, but... Have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. It's fine. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. Oh. I'm... Kiriko Doji, sirs. Uh, I'm... Uh... I'm, uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Pleased to meet you. Wait, Doji? Any relation to Professor Heizo Doji? I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. I just never imagined his daughter would be so... Uh... I've heard about Kiriko-san's father. They say he's a remarkable teacher. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here? If he's at the armory, that can only mean... That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. <sighs> I mean... Damn it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory's not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. I'll have to leave my little sister with you, so please take care of her for me. Don't you worry about a thing, Keitaro-san. I'll take good care of Chihiro-chan. And tell her I won't be gone for long. The second I get time off, I'll come visit. Keitaro, it's almost time. They're expecting us. We'd better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. I promise. I'll be back. Oh. 
What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Lightning, maybe. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Chihiro's probably worried about me. Kiriko-san disappeared after that incident. And Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. At this rate, the Americans will completely destroy Japan. We have to do something. Our new top-secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Uh, shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but it's dangerous to be out this late on your own. Allow me to escort you home. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. I'm stationed at the armory nearby. But I'm off duty now, so I was on my way home. So, uh, what's your name? Natsuno. Um, Natsuno Minami. Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Good question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. Wait. What's that sound? <laughs> What's going on? An air raid. They're trying to bomb the factory. But that's near where the Karabes live. Stay here. It should be safe at this distance. But what about you? I have to go help. Wait! Follow him. What? Seriously? Do I have to? Ugh. Fine, whatever. If everything goes wrong, it's totally your fault. Chihiro! Hot, hot, hot! Hey, hold on a sec! Why did you follow me? I don't know. <sighs> Fine, but just stay there. It's clear here, but the flames are stronger up ahead. You're not going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister's staying. be happening it's completely gone it must have been a direct hit Chihiro Tomo-san this belongs to Chihiro Chihiro Tomo-san Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. Chihiro! 
You're safe. Where's Tamao-san? Right here. <sighs> Kitaro-san. Tamao-san. It's all gone. I know. But you're alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens. But Chihiro-chan ran off alone. She said she was going back to the house. Because you were coming home. And if nobody was there to see you, you'd be really sad. Chihiro. <gasps> so they're all safe and sound, huh? Uh, Natsuna-san. Everything on that side of the Kaede River is on fire. Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi next. Big Brother! Why are they showing up in this era? I've always heard the U.S. had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They've finally come for our homeland. And if we don't stop them... <sighs> Tamao-san, please take care of Chihiro. Big Brother! Stay with her and do as you're told, understand? Tamao-san, can I ask you to look after Natsuno-san too? Huh? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. You stay with Tamao-san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel, they don't stand a chance. You hear all that? Yeah, you know. I know. I'm on it. <laughs> 